Everybody. Welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee, and today we're taking a look at this. This is the rewrapped version of Best Candy on the Block, or Trick or Treat Taking Card Game. Do you get it? The king sized expansion is included. Look, anybody who still is giving away king sized candy bars on Halloween, that's a, that's a fast pass to, the, uh, to getting past the pearly gates, if you ask me. There's a special place for those who are kind and charitable to that degree. Best candy on the block. This is a trick or treat card game. Or trick or treat taking. Get it? It's a trick taking game. Alright, so what's going on here? Best candy on the block for uh, two to five players. Play explosive for several rounds. So you're going to deal out the stuff. Uh, hand gameplay breakdown. So leader of the trick plays out a card and then everybody else is going to have to follow winner of the trick. Um, starts out, goes clockwise, play one of the suits. Okay, so what makes this one unique and different? Exceptions to the following suit. Prank, king, and non-candy cards can be played to any trick instead of following suit. Any of the trick, a trick is complete once each player has played exactly one. You determine the winner, that's neat. Score points for the hand. After 13 tricks have been completed in hand, I'm guessing 13 is both cute and punny because uh, Halloween, but also because 13 is a pretty good way to divide out a a hand of cards. Um, so you score points. What is it? One point for each trick they have won, minus one point for each prank card they have in their personal stash. Oof! All right, and then you play to a certain number of points. Uh, an end target score. Interesting, but also shows the number of hands. Maybe that was just estimating or something like that. Uh, okay, cool. So there you go, and advanced rules. Here you go. Don't be greedy. Uh, two more players. Time for the most tricks. One for the hand. All players score points normally. All right. So anyway, there's just some little things here. Hey, this is what the king size expansion adds. Hey, here's different little card effects and special things that can happen. Lost treats Kickstarter expansion. Okay. Well, maybe there's Kickstartery stuff in here. I didn't necessarily think this would be a game that would have been uh, kickstarted, but hey, could be. So, this is a bigger stack of cards, so let's assume that this is the main deck, and maybe this is some Kickstarter-y stuff or whatnot. Come on. Come on. Sometimes you gotta massage these out. Other times, you just go right for the blade, and just slice it open. What's the best way to get peace? That's right, Simpson, with the bayonet. All right. Simpson's reference for you. Let's open up these cards and take a look. At, uh, at what these are going to look like. This is a big stack of cards. Oh, oh, I really like the back of these cards here. That The black and white looks cool and everything, but this Halloween symmetric background. Oh, I really like that. So, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Remainder card distribution of suits? What? I'm really confused what this is. Maybe there's certain... Maybe there's no one and two boxes. Maybe there's no 12 gummy bears. Wow, that's really, that's like a, an assault on the eyes. But, uh, okay, so there's the treats, there's the pranks, there's the non-candy and kings. All right. Anyway, like I said, I really like these card backs. Whoa! I like those orange ones a ton! Woo! That's the main deck there. It's going to be these orange backs. Oh, hey, Chris, show us the front, please. Okay, so what's with the... Uh, these are the black backed cards. Caramel flavor. Ooh. Chocolate flavor. Ooh. Coconut. Ugh, ugh. Coconut. Black rank flavor. I don't know what that means. Green rank flavor. Gummy flavor. This is pretty awfully cute, I gotta say. Peanut flavor. Single flavor. All right. So, not sure what those are about. This is the orange backed. This looks like the main deck over here. Oh my gosh. If you're the kind of person that gives away pencils to trick or treaters, ugh, got bad news for you. Might as well be even at rocks. Toothbrushes? Come on. Oh, I thought, I thought candy corn was a non candy. <laughs> I hate candy corn. All right. So, I'm going to get all the different opinions here circus peanuts. What look like pills, Neapolitan, wax lips, all oh, the meanies. 
mixed nuts or trail mix or whatever. Oh, this is adorable. So there's all the different numbers of all the different colors, except I'm guessing that there's some that are missing. Twizzlers. Are you more of a Red Vines or a Twizzlers kind of person yourself? Well, I, wow, those really look like, uh, those are basically straight up Sour Patch Kids. And that's chocolate pizza. <laughs> All right, hey, this is, uh, this is neat looking. I'm just looking at the candy. I'm not even looking at uh, ch Chococos. <laughs> I'm like barely even looking at the colors of the, uh, oh, full size, yeah. I barely even look at the colors of the suits and stuff. Pranks, uh-oh, here comes the prank cards. Shaving cream, toilet paper, the mom veto, interesting. Dad tax, yes, the dad tax. <laughs> All right. Uh, in my household, the dad tax is the Reese's because the Reese's are the best. They are very clearly the best. Ooh, generosity, please take one. And the king size. All right, very neat, very neat. Well, let's take a look at this uh, small pack over here and then we'll be done here, folks. See, that one just slid open nicely. Okay, so two more of the black-backed cards, which I'm wondering if these are like maybe objectives or something to kind of focus on. Maybe they determine like a, a maybe they determine like Trump suit color or something like that. But anyway, pranks. So this, I'm going to guess, is like the little mini expansion stuff. So, yeah, these ones seem to have like more effects going on in them. Oh, there's like a split rank card there. Black licorice wheel. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of licorice. Anyway, there you go. Now you know all my pickiness and all my tastes when it comes to the little candies here. So that is a quick look inside what is in Best Candy on the Block, a trick or treat taking game. Thanks so much for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee, and enjoy yourself some Halloween candy. Even though it's like June or July right now or something. Enjoy!